Joe from Motion Pro here today, and we're going to show you how to use our Motion Pro wheel bearing remover set. These are a split collet design, so you use a collet that's called out by the size and the driver. Only two drivers, so pretty easy. Now, how you use this, guys, you insert the collet into the bearing that you're going to remove, put the wheel up on the side here, and then you're going to drive the uh, rod through the center, and then you're going to put it into the collet slot. Now, once we have the collet in the bearing and the driver through, we're going to transition it over to the floor. Now, we use the floor because we want no flex. We want to be able to give you a sturdy sub, uh, surface. So, don't do this on a table. Don't do this on anything like that. You know, you set the collet down onto the piece of wood there. We got it in place. Now, my bearing, I'm holding in place there. I'm going to grab my trusty eye protection because you don't do this kind of stuff without eye protection. And I'm just going to give it a couple taps to get it seated. See. Alright, so now you'll see that it's held in place. It's not going anywhere. At this point, I'm going to use a little bit of heat just to free things up. And I'm not using a lot, just trying to heat things up a little bit. So now that I got the collet installed in the wheel, and you'll see that driver's in there good, I'm going to transition it over to the side here. I, and on this particular, this is a stand for tire change, I'm just going to move it off to a little bit to the side so it has a free spot to drive that bearing into. All right, so now we're all set up to, to drive it out. We've got the bearing sitting there in a the spot where it can come out. I'm going to grab my ball peen hammer, make sure I have my eye protection on, and we're going to give it a couple whacks. And boom, there goes your, there's your bearing. All right, now we got the wheel bearing out. It's, it's good to note here that this is a mechanical project, that sometimes it's harder than others. Sometimes the collet might come out. Just restart, maybe try a little bit more heat. But with a couple little techniques like heat and making sure it's seated and, and hitting it on a solid surface, will help this become very easy and, and, and go quickly. Simple, easy, painless, and we're ready to move on to the next step on this project. So whether you're, you're working on your Harley, or you're getting ready to get the dirt bike ready for a trip, or maybe you're working on your kid's bike, they're all going to need these types of wheel bearing tools. Now it's also worth noting that on these smaller wheels, sometimes you, you're using this setup just to get the, the uh, spacers out. You'll see these spacers are kind of seized in there, so I can do the same thing with this guy right here. We got the little driver, I'm going to pop it through. Right there. Your axle spacers out. Now I'm ready to grab the appropriate size for the bearing. See more of our tire and wheel products at motionpro.com or check us out at your local power sports dealer or your favorite online retailer. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more videos coming soon.